Welcome to Cinemaker. Before you know it, you'll be creating professional quality video and live streams, all in this easy to use app. First, let's show you everything you need to know to get started. Right now, you found yourself on the start screen. This is where you'll find the project panel. Here, you'll be able to easily access and organize your recorded projects, which can be stored locally and or to your iCloud. From here, you'll also be able to edit and perfect your videos and share them to all popular platforms. In the top left, you'll find the settings menu. Here, you can access and alter a variety of Cinemaker settings. This is also where you can access the Cinemaker Learning Center, where you can learn everything you need to know about all the features and functions Cinemaker has to offer by watching the Getting Started series. Back at the start screen, select Start New Session, and with your cameras connected to the same strong Wi-Fi connection, your cameras will automatically connect in preview mode on the Cinemaker control screen. Here, you will see your program output monitor in the center. Below that, you'll see your preview monitors. This is where you'll be able to simply select and switch to your desired camera you'd like to appear in the program output monitor. On the right, you'll find the features menu panel. The first tab, you'll find Cinemaker's full media engine. Here, you'll be able to easily add, control, and adjust images, video clips, text graphics, picture-in-picture -picture images and video, external audio tracks, and much more. The next tab to the right is the cameras tab where you'll be able to easily control your cameras in their individual settings, like their zoom, exposure, white balance, and much more. The center tab is Cinemaker's audio mixer, where you'll have the ability to control your audio input coming from your cameras and any external audio devices. The fourth tab is where you'll have full control of your chroma key settings for green screen. And the fifth and final tab within the features menu panel is the camera transition panel. Here, you can select a default camera transition to add a level of professionalism to your video without the headache of the traditional editing process. Now back on the main screen below the preview monitor, you'll find the camera and devices settings, where you can manage and edit all your connected devices. Right next to the cameras and devices settings is the virtual camera feature. Here, you'll be able to set and adjust an additional virtual camera from within one of your cameras. On the left side, the plus sign is an easy and effective way to reset your selected camera's focus and exposure levels. Then finally, within the preview monitor, the plus and minus signs will allow you to manually adjust your selected camera's zoom. Alright, so now that's all covered, the only thing to go over is the big red button in the center of the screen, and at this point you should have a good enough lay of the land to hit it. Once you do, a pop-up screen will give you the option to either record and live edit, or go live to YouTube, Facebook, or any RTMP destination. In any scenario, all you need to do is give your production a title, pick your desired resolution settings, and then hit start. While recording, you'll have the ability to simply switch between cameras and add media by tapping the eyeball icon next to your added media item. When you're done recording, you'll immediately return to the control center, where you then access editing mode where you'll be able to live edit your recording and playback and override any decisions you've made. When you're done, you'll then have the ability to render and export your project to all popular platforms and to Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere to further perfect your video. If you need help with any of the features and functions Cinemaker has to offer, select a question mark in the top right of the main screen or visit the Learning Center in the Start Screen menu.